Come with me, Jake Turner, as I travel the back roads talking with your neighbors and crop experts about best practices in weed control in soybeans. All you need is a minute and Authority Minute. In this episode of Authority Minute, we're in Kissimmee, Florida for the Commodity Classic, America's largest farm-led, farmer-focused convention and trade show. We're here speaking with Eric Maupin and Kurt Kruger about how the American Soybean Association gives soybean growers a voice on important issues at both the state and national level. Well, guys, thanks for being here and talking with us on the Authority Minute. Uh, I'm gonna ask you some questions about how does ASA communicate with its members, and more specifically, what message would ASA have for soybean growers who can't be here this year at the Commodity Classic? Kurt? Why don't you start us off? <laughs> well, of course, we wish they were here. Uh, as far as uh, the message we would like to, to get out to those folks is, uh, ASA is pretty darn good about getting the message out there uh, through communications efforts, making them aware of what the priority issues are, what we're doing to uh, represent and promote agriculture. And Eric, on a national level, what would you say the message is for soybean growers who can't be here this year? We have an easy job as a board of directors on ASA because we listen to these folks. Uh, <laughs> I think Commodity Classic is, is quite possibly the most important meeting we have as a board all year long because we take those farmers' visions and their questions and their priorities on a farm level, they give that to the state level and then the state today here at Commodity Classic in our voting session tell us what we need to do as a board and give us the direction that we do for the next 12 months. So what are some other top policy priorities in 2013 and going on into the next five years for the soybean industry? How much time do you have? We have a lot of policies and a lot of direction that we want to go. The renewable fuel standard is something that we continue to support. Uh, infrastructure is a big topic in ASA and will continue to be. We want to ensure that our products can get from the farm to a global economy and to a global world. And, and the way we do that is our competitiveness with America's infrastructure. Other things I can mention, exports, keeping those folks coming over there and realizing we are really producing a good, safe product for their consumption. Looking forward to that relationship continuing for as long as I breathe air and all my grandkids' grandkids breathe air. Uh, regulatory issues have become huge. Uh, water, freedom to operate, th those are gonna be probably moving more to the forefront. Uh, moving on from policy, what other things do you see on the horizon for the soybean industry? I think one of the big things has to do with production, uh, producing more. Uh, that's one of the key things as far as keeping this world fed. I mean, more and more people keep uh, showing up on this world, and it's uh, they all have the moral right to food. And uh, we're you know addressing that as far as our, our, our checkoff, doing a wonderful job as far as the research and promotion of that and, and development. Biotechnology is a huge thing. How do ASA board members stay in touch with the global uh, consumer and the marketplace? The biggest thing that we can do is just get on that local level, and we do that through our grassroots organization. Everything that we do, uh, even on a policy level, we send that back to the states, and the states send it out to their members. So the most crucial thing is get our members involved in what we're doing and, and get farmers to become members. You know, you were mentioning earlier about how the world population has grown considerably. Uh, what does ASA do to help expand demand for soybean into uh, new markets and new countries? visit those countries probably more than anything and have those folks come here. Uh, I've had, uh, seems like every year, at least once a year, I have trade teams visit my farm. You know, ASA has been very involved on a global scale. We've had an office in China. We put it in 30 years ago. and uh, So it's not a new market no, for you guys? No, it's not a new market for us. And, and, and you know, what was so interesting when um, they put that office in China 30 years ago, people said, why China? I don't understand. They buy nothing from the United States when it comes to soybeans. And now they're our number one importer of soybeans on a global scale. And, and a related topic to this is sustainability. I know that's uh, something you wanted to talk about, Eric. We are sustainable, and we always have been. You know that. We may not have called it that, but uh, that came up in the 50s. Will we be able to meet production? Came up again in the 70s, going into the 80s, about we're going to starve in the next 20 years unless we beef up production. And the American farmer has always been able to do that. And we've been able to do it through technology, hard work, and partners like uh, you all that have, that have come to the forefront and given us the products that we could use to make sure that we could feed the world, not just ourselves. So as kind of a wrap up to this, what would you say is the best way that soybean growers can get involved at the local and national level? Become a member. 
<laughs> that is the that is the number one thing to do, become a member. And, and I say that jokingly, but I mean that. Along with becoming a member, reach out. Reach out simply to your friends, your family, and, and educate them, make them aware. And we want the farmer's input because our organization is only as good as what the members bring to us to do. Well, gentlemen, I know your schedule is super tight here at the Commodity Classic. I'm really glad you took the time to share with us here at the Authority Minute. Thanks so much. Thank you, thanks for having us. Thank you. Thank you. So we had a great time talking with Kurt Nerick at the ASA booth here at the Commodity Classic. They had a lot of great information. And the most important thing they said was, they are your champions. And the way for them to address your concerns is through membership. Join up, make sure the soybean industry knows what you're thinking and what you want at the state and national level. And speaking of uh, joining up, if you haven't created an account yet at Authority Minute, go ahead and do so right away. Watch all the episodes and make sure to leave your comments and questions because I love reading them. Only takes a minute and Authority Minute. See you soon.